This video demonstrates how to configure IO Link devices to an Armor Block 5000 IO Link Master Block when using Data Storage Mode or Backup and Restore Mode. This mode is intended to be used when the IO Link device is the primary handler of the configuration. Choosing Node to ADC enabled within the IO Link device add on profile will allow a device to utilize Backup and Restore Mode. For an IO Link device connected to an Armor Block 5000 IO Link Master Block, you can view connection and device information as well as gain access to the configuration and parameters of the device. Configuration and parameter changes via the add on profile are disabled when a device is running in data storage mode. To enable configuration changes, inhibit the device connection. The Parameters tab generally provides a read only view of the running values and configuration within the IO Link device. You can also set values for parameters that support write functionality. Let's focus on a specific value, the sensor set point threshold. This value represents the sensitivity of the photo eye within the project. We can see that the value within the device is at 9,000 units. From the parameters tab, we would not be able to change this value because of the read-only designation. Let's observe the same parameter from the configuration tab. The configuration value matches the parameter value in the IO link device and the designation shows read and write capability. However, as the warning indicates, we cannot change it with a running connection to the device. When using backup and restore mode, device parameters could be configured from the device and this prevents device configuration from being overwritten unintentionally. To make a configuration change in this mode, we will need to inhibit the module. Navigate to the connection tab, select inhibit module and click apply. Returning to the configuration tab, we can now manipulate the parameter configuration value. Let's set the value to 10,000. Click Apply to push the configuration change to the IO Link device. Observe that the new value is reflected in the Parameters tab. After making the necessary changes, uninhibit the module to resume operation. Follow the same process that we use to inhibit the module to perform an uninhibit. The next workflow in backup and restore mode will demonstrate what happens when a controller configuration does not match the configuration within the IO Link device. To create a configuration mismatch, we will go offline to make a change and then download the project. From the configuration tab, let's set the value that we have been observing to 7000 units and apply the change. Once the change is made within the project, perform a download to the controller. Resume run mode once the download completes. You can see that the project value was not pushed to the IO link device because the device is the main storage location of the configuration. Observe the value of 10,000 in the parameters tab. Note that the change is still shown in the configuration tab. To propagate this change from the controller, we must inhibit the connection again. Clicking on the configuration tab, we will be prompted to correlate the parameters that do not match. In this case, we will use the project values to push the new value to the IO link device. In the parameters tab, observe that the new value has now been accepted in the IO link device. One final attribute to mention about IO link devices configured for backup and restore mode is that there are no device tags available to support tag based configuration changes. To recap, in backup and restore mode, we prevent unintended device configuration changes by requiring the user to inhibit connections. If a configuration is intended, users can follow the workflow within this video or send an explicit message programmatically to change device configuration at runtime.